clients come to us and say that their customers' minds are made up before they've even talked to them in the first place, or they're 75% of the way through the buying journey. They've already been online, they've understood the consideration set, they've understood what the pros and cons are, and they're coming to our salespeople to say, tell me about a very specific differentiator, a very specific price point, a very specific feature set. Even the best world-class sales force is not ready for the disruption digital is bringing. We did a survey with 300 sales and marketing leaders and found that 12% of them believe that they are ready to embrace the digital future. Digital has fundamentally shifted the playing field for commercial leaders today. It used to be that your salesperson controlled the information, that they could lead the customer down through a very discreet funnel and create a sales outcome that they were looking for. What we're finding is that digital has actually flipped that almost completely, and customers come to the table very well educated about everything they need to know about, their, about the product and about the service you're offering. What sales leaders need to do to be successful in this environment is to fundamentally reorient upstream and make sure that they are the most relevant voice at the table when the customer is educating themselves. And this means being very active with the digital footprint. Put yourself in your customer's shoes. The first thing they're going to do is go to Google and type in the first phrase that comes into their mind. And so are you the first result that comes up? Or in those top three results, are you actually the article that they say, wow, that's going to tell me what I need to know to make the decision I need to make about which enterprise software I should buy, or which piece of hardware is really going to fulfill this need for me, or where's the resiliency or the redundancy going to be around this piece of equipment they're looking for? Customers expect everything to be available online. Every question they're asking, every question they could ever want to know. What you're finding is that your customer is increasingly a digital native. The person who's actually making that buy decision, making that buy recommendation, has grown up online and expects every piece of information to be available there at their fingertips, whether it's on a console or on their smartphone. And if you're not right there with them, you're not in the consideration set. You're not even in the game anymore. It sounds simple, but it starts with understanding your customer. We call it having a smart view of the customer. You have more data in your system today about your customer than you even know that you have. Think of it as data fumes or data exhaust. And bringing that data together in a coherent, insightful way and understanding what your customers own, what they might be interested in owning, and what their headspace is going to be around buying the next thing down the pipe. That's an important thing for you to understand. To be successful in the digital world, you need to do three things well. The first is to establish the high ground with a coherent, comprehensive digital footprint that establishes yourself as an empathetic thought leader. The second is to really understand your customer today, probably using data that's sitting in your organization somewhere that you're not tapping into. And the third is to tailor the buying experience so that it matches the way they want to buy your product, not the way you're used to selling it. Companies that do this well outperform their peer set on top line and bottom line. They're more effective in selling product, they have happier customers, and they're more efficient in the way they do that. You'll get leverage out of your sales force and you'll deliver the business results you're looking for.